Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from Serious Keto, and we are someplace special today. Yes, we are in my backyard at my fire pit. Yeah, so this is probably going to be the way that we see some future Courtney videos here now that she's moved off to school is whenever we come and visit, if we got a fun product to review, we'll do it if you're cool with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to try out a few different flavors of Chipmunk Baking's Cookie Bites. Two of the flavors are part of their monthly um, small batch, I guess you would call them, that they do. So when you make an order from Chipmunk, you wind up on their mailing list, and each month they do a small batch, maybe two small batches. Sometimes they let people vote on what the flavor will be. And my hope is that some of the better ones might become permanent fixtures. What we're going to do is we're going to start with one, I think this is last month's, cheddar cheese. It is so sunny outside. Oh my gosh. It really is. It feels like it's going to get warm out. Like, no matter where I look, it seems like the sun is shining in my eyes. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> the video isn't overexposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and just break them in half, okay. if that's okay. Oh yeah. Well, not quite half. You want the big one or the little I'll one? I'll have the little one. Okay. It's, it's cheese, cheddar. Here we go. So, what do you think? Not that thrilled about it. What about it? it? Go ahead. It tastes, it tastes like cheddar cheese, like almost like if you melted cheese on something and there was like a little bit stuck on the plate somewhere else and then like you finish eating and you eat that little piece of coldish melted cheese off your plate. Yeah, but I, I don't disagree. I think it's not as cheesy as I would like. That's, that's problem number one I have with it. I like a really sharp, sharp cheddar mm -hmm. in any sort of baking application because otherwise it just gets too mild. Yeah. I also found the, the texture and taste for very, like, it must be heavy almond flour. So yeah, I'm mealy. It was mealy. Yeah, it really had that almond flour sort of mealiness yeah. to it. So this one, not a victory. I will say, though, I've taken these and I've put them in the microwave with a little piece of cheddar on top of it oh, to okay. melt. And that, that then is good. pretty tasty. That sounds good. All right, this is another one of the most recent small batches, lemon blueberry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think the moment it got in my mouth, I was like muffin. Yeah. Like it reminded me of a muffin, the taste, the mouthfeel. Yeah. I like that one better. So much better. Yeah. That's, I, that's one that I would really like to see them put into their regular lineup. It's, I think, a great balance between the sweetness of the blueberry and you know, slightly offset by the, the sourness or the tart of the, the of the lemon. I feel like there's a little lemon zest in there too. There's, it's good. Yeah, it's it, Fresh. it really does remind me of a blueberry muffin, but without like all the crystal sugar stuff right. on top of it. Right. It's yeah. and it's moist too. Mm -hmm. like I it knew is. I knew the moment I was breaking it that I was going to enjoy it. I mm -hmm. think. So. You're holding it. Yeah. Well, you will. Like, you don't have to hold it like for display purposes, but. Okay. But I'll let you announce it. Pumpkin spice keto bites. Yeah, so this is a seasonal item. It kind of falls in between that small batch and permanent fixture sort of category. What are we looking at uh, in terms of carbs? Um, I think they're all pretty much nine grams one, total carbs. Yeah, one net. Now I'm just curious. This says that it's sweetened by made with monk fruit, so now I'm wondering if the other ones are in. No, they do. They use yeah. their, their own proprietary blend okay. uh, called Allumunk or Allumunk. It's an allulose and monk fruit blend. So nine total carbs, two grams fiber, six allulose equals one net gram of carbs. All right. Okay. Pumpkin's coming out early this year. Is it? Yeah, it is. I think Before September even came, pumpkin was coming out. Starbucks, Dunkin'. Are we going to split them or uh, eat a whole one on this? Yeah, we can have a whole one. Okay. Hopefully I like it. Now these are like flat. And are there white chocolate chips in them? It seemed like there's almost uh, some sort of an exterior. Yeah, it that, is. That maybe, that maybe crumbled off a smidge or something. 
But these look, they look different than their other ones. Yeah, the shape is different. So I thought the texture was a little bit more gummy maybe than the other ones. It, it was chewy but moist. Yeah. And in terms of flavor, I thought it was a little salty. Really? Just a little bit, yeah. Hmm. I got too much salt rather than the other like pumpkin spice flavors, I think. I felt like the, the, cinnamon -y. Yeah, the cinnamon I, I wish nutmeg. I had more of that. It kind of comes at the end is really, you know, it's like after you swallow it and you're just sort of, you know, feeling it on your tongue a bit, yeah. that's where I picked up, you know, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, allspice. I mean, sometimes you get these pumpkin spice things and they just, they go way overboard. It's like getting just punched, like punchkin. See, but I think I like the strong pumpkin flavor, all that. I like it. So, so that's if, my opinion. So, if you were to rank these... We, we probably both agree that the cheddar cheese one was the weakest of the three. Yeah. I think I'd still put the pumpkin spice first. Okay. I just really like pumpkin. Yeah, I, I do too, except when I get too much of it. So th that's why I like this, because it is not overstated. I think it's, I think it's very balanced. And, and it's like not too the, sweet. Are those chocolate chips? They're, they're like, uh, I think, a little white, white chocolate yeah, chip I like those chunks in, in that. It's a good, good addition, texture. So these, I got an advanced copy of it, like not terribly advanced, like a couple of days. I think they're going live with this flavor this week. I'm not sure what day specifically these are going to go public, but I will include a link to Chipmunk Baking down in the description below, along with a coupon code that's good for 10% off your first purchase if you've never purchased from them before, which I guess would be the same way as saying first pur purchase. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. All right. From Courtney's See Yard. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks for watching.